Sorry, Kyle, I'm just uh, I'm just playing Snake here. Do you remember Snake on these phones? <coughs> it was so much fun. It was the best. <laughs> well, we've all been victims of getting lost in our screens. Right now, though, a new trend is seeing people reduce their screen time by switching from smartphones to these stupid old things, right? Joining us for more is an early adopter of this business owner, David Sarawa. And today, tech expert Trevor Long, who's here with me. But, David, Hi. I want to come to you first. What made you want to switch to these old things, eh? <laughs> Morning, Sarah. Um... Mostly to increase my productivity. I, I run a small business and I, I want to be as productive as possible and not not be uh, a slave to the distractions of the phone. But uh, the second reason also is to be present. I, I'm not one of those people that out at the pub and, and mm. wants to see people spending their time glued to the phone. So I, I definitely want to be more present when I'm around people. I don't know, mate. I do remember spending literally hours playing Snake or Tetris on these things. So I'm not sure you're saving much time. But being in marketing, <laughs> I mean, you, you can't be that disconnected from the world. Uh, I do cheat a little bit and I do have a second phone, a smartphone, because I found banking, invoicing, even some of the government Mate, apps, you're a fraud. Like Come on. I'm just going to call you out. That's, I mean, you can't have it both <laughs> ways. Well, that, the, the work phone does stay at home. It doesn't leave the house. So, um, But, yes, some of the banking apps and, and the government apps, you just you can't get by without them. There's yes. no way to authenticate yourself that I've found. So. No, that's true. I mean, Trev, we do carry our lives in our new smartphones these yeah. days, right? So what are the benefits of these ones? Well, I think, it's as David says, it's switching off. The ability yeah. to say, even just for a weekend, you could put your mm. SIM card in one of these Nokia phones here for just for the weekend okay. and not have all that inundation of content and emails and things and just be able to call people as you need to. So the benefit benefits are switching off and not having that addiction to the doom scrolling of social media. Can you also hang up on people easily? Like if Carl calls me, yes. can I just go bang? It's so much easier just yes. to hang up on Carl with a so flip. So much more satisfying. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so what's the price range? Because surely these have to be cheaper as well. Th these are far cheaper. These are around $129 for these flip mm -hmm. phones. They're mm -hmm. Basically, if you're spending more than $120, you're probably spending too much if it's a feature phone, yes. as they like to call the dumb phones like these. But they do have <laughs> messaging and some of them have WhatsApp and they do, Sarah, have Snake. Ah, oh, yes! Carl I'll ask someone to a winner here, mate. Yes. I'll leave you with it. I'm going to play Snake for a while. I'll beat you. I'm going to beat you. Hear you. Something? I'm going to beat you. Just go back yeah. there a bit. I can't okay. hear Sarah. I'm sorry. Just go there. Don't know where she is. <gasps> Has anyone seen Sarah? Camera on it. Huh? Oh, yeah. Hey, look. <laughs> Selfie? Yeah, but I'm winning Snake. Selfie? <laughs> hey there, Today fans. Sarah and... <laughs> What's my name again? Oh my God. <laughs> Carl. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube <laughs> channel, though. Subscribe now for more news, special reports and amazing Aussie stories. And Carl misbehaving, Whoa, of course. That never happens. Always happens. What's she talking about?